Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is inspired by this hoodie that my mom just got me. I know racing stripes and flames used to be a big trend last year or two years ago. I'm not good with time, but I decided I would hop on this trend today and create this look for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and without further ado, let's get on with the look. So since this look is just all crisp lines and I'm not going to blend anything out, I did not prime my eyes today. I just put some concealer on my lids and that's that. I'm going to begin by creating vertical lines using an M158 brush and I just pinched it together really well to make it nice and fine. I'm going to take a black liquid liner and just run the brush on the tip of the liner and just try that. I'm going to actually switch to a white cream product to do this. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics White Concealer instead. Since I've never done this look before, I'm going to probably be trying a few different things to get it done. Plus, if we need to clean it up later, it'll be easier since it's white. Alright, so now we're just going to create vertical lines as best we can. Always looking in my farther away mirror to make sure that they are even, <laughs> and they're not, but it's alright. Now using an M421 brush, which is what I use to cut my brows, there's still a little bit of concealer on there, I'm going to try to tidy up the lines with it. Some of the lines are a little wonky, so I'm going to go in and make them as straight as possible, again with that white concealer and my angled brush. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing, but make horizontal lines. I like how the one I just did off camera turned out better than the one I did on camera. Now I'm going to take the black liquid liner and fill in all the black squares. Alright, the black is all done. Now I'm going to add in the white using an M251 brush. Alright, so I'm done with the checkered. I'm really happy with it. I ended up setting the white parts with a white eyeshadow. So now I'm going to work on my face and start with the flame. So first I'm going to prime my face using my Benefit Professional Primer. Alright, now for foundation, I'm going to go in with my typical ColourPop foundation stick in the shade 07 Neutral. I'm just going to blend that out using my Morphe sponge. Now I'm going to conceal the highest points of my face using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Ferro 2. Now I'm going to set everywhere that we just concealed using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using Morphe M527 brush and the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder. Now I'm going to zoom you in so we can finish off the lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to be creating a flame using different colored Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Starting off with an M251 brush and the shade Red Rum, I'm going to trace the flame. Now I'm going to go with flamethrower on that same brush to create a second outline in this middle. Now I'm going to fill in the center of the flame with Queen Bee. Now I'm going to set the yellow using Wow from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Straw Breaker Palette. Now I'm going to pop on some mascara, maybe some lashes, and I'll be right back. All 
Alright, the eyes are all done, so now let's finish off the face. First, I'm going to contour using my Morphe E4 brush and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. Now for blush, I'm going to use my Morphe M405 brush and my usual Alluring Cosmetics eyeshadow. Now for highlight, I'm going to pick up Dream from the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighter Palette on an M501 brush. And I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner, nose, and cupid's bow as well. Now for lips, I'm first going to line them using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Odessa, and then I'm going to fill it in using Jeffree Star's Flamethrower. So here's the finished look guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!